Warm and dry, but rain does return to the forecast starting tomorrow. And then later we're going to talk really quickly also about the lunar eclipse coming up on Sunday night and actually at a sort of reasonable time. So I'll show you more about that in just a second. But current temperatures in the 80s north and south of the lake. And then as I was pointing out, transitioning to the feels like or heat index. It's a little bit higher because it's somewhat humid, but here's the difference today. Our dew points or our relative humidity is down a little bit and you might feel it outside and that's partially because winds are from the north and northeast as opposed to from the south. When we get that Gulf of Mexico flow from the south, we're getting all that moisture pumped in. It's feeling more humid, but with the position of the surface high that we have right now, it's actually bringing our winds from the north and northeast and you can see it here. Surface high right north of our area and around the high, you can see the flow is more northerly as opposed to southerly. We also have a surface high over the rest of the southeast and then we have our low pressure area over here, not expected to develop into anything tropical, although we're almost to the time of year where we start to see low pressure out in the Atlantic and we start thinking about it. But all it's going to do is bring a little bit of rain to the east coast and as the mid level low also transitions a little closer to the east coast over the next day or so, that's going to help increase rain chances and kind of loosen that high pressures hold, which it has really had over us over the past several days, keeping us warm and dry. Today, highs in the middle to upper 80s, feeling possibly like a lower 90s, but most of us not feeling quite there yet, but it is possible getting into this afternoon in the next couple of hours. Today, our rain chance quite slim and tonight too, but tomorrow and Friday, we have a decent chance for some scattered rain. Some of you might be looking for that and hoping for a little bit of rain Saturday and Sunday too, at least a chance for a few spotty afternoon showers. Looking at precision cast for tomorrow, we'll fast forward through the morning and into the afternoon at 2 p.m. Still plenty of time to warm up tomorrow, so we stay quiet through the first half or more of the day. But watch what's happening here. By 5, 6 p.m., we start to see some rain moving from the north to the south, perhaps, and a few heavy downpours will be possible. Although this batch of rain should finish pretty fast, this is by 8 and 9 o'clock already starting to decrease. Uh, we might pick up an inch or two of rain, and if it goes a little bit more slowly, we'll see if we get a bit more than that with some of these downpours in the afternoon. Friday, 2 p.m., starting to see a little bit of scattered rain develop. And same thing, 5, 6 p.m., some downpours in the area, maybe a little more removed, possibly with the heaviest to the west of us Friday, but we'll see. And then by 8 and 9 o'clock, calming down again. So your big bullet points, afternoons and evenings for rain. Thursday, really through the weekend, I would just kind of be prepared. One to two inches expected for most of us, but possibly a bit more. Severe storms, thankfully, not really expected. Total lunar eclipse is coming up Sunday night, and this is the time schedule if you want to see the partial eclipse starting at, at about 930. The total eclipse taking on that reddish glow at about 1030. The maximum is just after 11 p.m. and it lasts until almost uh, midnight. And this is what's happening with the lunar eclipse. Again, you kind of have to visualize it. The sun's light is uh, passing around the Earth or the moon is falling into the Earth's shadow. So the Earth is casting the shadow and the moon is in this kind of reddish area. And why does it look red? The sunlight is shining through the Earth's atmosphere around the Earth. So the shorter wavelengths, the blues and purples get scattered out the longer wavelengths are able to bend around and reach the moon's surface, making it look kind of reddish. And it's always a little bit unpredictable just how deep the red color will be. So every eclipse a little different with that, but this one we'll have to see Sunday night. 40% chance of rain on Sunday and about a 30% chance Monday of next week.